Let's say, let's say if you're being chased, or if you're running after somebody, you're running. What goes on with your body? What? Excellent. You start sweating. Okay, pulse goes up. I like that. But you recognize that as you're running, your body changes. But why? What happens if you didn't sweat? You'd overheat, and your organs would shut down. You'd get really sick. All right? So, you know, we have a word for this because you're maintaining a kind of a balance. If you get too hot, your body sweats, your pulse rate goes up, things happen that bring you back down to normal. But, you know, what happens if you get too cold? So, if you guys have been cold before, what happens to your body? Okay, hypothermia, but what happens? You start shivering. Shiver, right? You shiver, your blood, right? You shiver. And the whole point is, is that it hits a balance. You see in this picture, you being too hot isn't good, being too cold isn't good. Your body wants to hit a perfect equilibrium, which we call homeostasis. homeostasis. And I want to take a second and just pick apart that word. So if you look on your worksheet, up the top corner, you got kind of a word, word, word web right there. You got homeostasis in the center. What are some, if homeostasis is kind of like being in the middle, like kind of a balance, um, what kind of synonyms do you guys think go along with homeostasis? Equal? Okay. So yeah, so put these ideas that you guys come up with in those uh, bubbles. So equal to what else? Same. What else we got? Stable, that's good one. Equal, same, stable, I want three more. If you're unchanging, what is it? Persistent or consistent or constant? What? Okay, we have that. Um, when you're on a seesaw, what are you doing? Or if you have like a scale, you weigh back and forth. Balance. You know, I like maintaining. Maintains a good one too. It's all about that. And the whole idea is, is that there's multiple things with your body that your body systems want to maintain. And temperature is one of them. And again, it's all about balance. They want to know. Yeah, right, that's So anyway, again, it's back to that seesaw picture. You know, if you're on one side, you could be too hot. But if you go back the other way, it's not good either. Your body is adapted to be perfectly level all the time. And when something happens, if there's a change in your environment, your body responds to it, and your body changes to maintain homeostasis. All right? That. And see, the whole idea is sometimes we find ourselves outside of our ideal climate. Like, how do you guys feel right now? My You feel pretty happy, right? What do you think is going to happen to him? He's going to become a girl. Right. His body is going to undergo change. He's trying to keep him alive. That's the whole point. And right here, you see she's sweating. That to, the sweating is a response to what? Heat. Being her body is overheating or just cold? Overheating. Overheating. And she's sweating. Oh. Right? And again, he'll shiver and things like that we talked about. Does anybody know what the picture is? Yeah. Alright, so what is the what is the lighting color represent? Heat. Heat. And you see the surrounding blue is really cold. So these pictures do a really good job of showing you that humans are able to maintain an internal environment. That's what homeostasis is. This inside environment that our body maintains is far different from the outside. Yes, she is. Oh. <laughs> that ain't all. Alright. So this is gonna this is gonna be a hint. But let's look at the vital signs. This is a vital time promise. 
Now, let's say if you guys walk into the classroom, you find Mr. Harrington collapsed on the floor. What's the, first, what's the first thing you do to see if you look at? Check the follow heartbeat. Pulse, heartbeat, I like those. Put those down. There's two other things though. His breathing, his respiration rate. That's good. And one more. When you're sick, what is your mom or dad going to do? It's a mom or take a temperature. Alright, and again, does anybody know what this is? You see these in hospitals? Yeah, heart monitors. Alright, so again, you know, you're going to see, you know, I just really want you to get the concept. So you're going to see the temperature on you over and over. But there's other ways that our body maintains homeostasis as well. What happens if you take too much sugar? Do you get a camera watch? Is it, is it good if you go out and have like 10 liters of soda and cookies all the time, is that good for you? No. 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 How does your body respond to all that sugar you're going Insulin. That's right. Alright, so now a separate topic. Do you guys know about warm blood versus cold blood? Mm -hmm. So why would this lizard be out in the sunlight? Because it's cold blood. It's cold blood, so what does he do? Right, he's sunbathing. Right, you're doing the same thing. And if you look right here, this just real quickly, this is a snake. And this, you, can, you can't see the snake because he's cold, but you can see the mouse he has. So you see cold blooded versus warm blooded. Alright? And we have two other words for that. We have ectotherm, endotherm. Does anybody have an idea of which belongs to which? Right. So the endotherm, it's kind of like inner, belongs to the mouse. If you have exotherm, you're getting energy from your surroundings as well as the snake. Alright? So we're going to stop right there. Alright, so real quickly going over the vocabulary. Um, does anybody want to take a guess as to what homeostasis would be? Seven, Seven that's right. Um, insulin? Two? Um, endotherm? Yes, and then the ectotherm. All right. I don't know if you guys learned about this in the past, but have you learned um, any systems of plant cells? So stomata, guard cells, those familiar? All right. So leaves have what's called a guard cell and a stoma right here in the center. And how is a plant? How does a plant live? What does it mean? Alright, you tell me what kind of gas is. Okay, then oxygen, carbon dioxide, and what else? Water. Water. So these things are coming in and out of the plant cell. Now, if it gets too much of any of those, the guard cell closes the stomata. Alright? And again, you have kind of, you have homeostasis being maintained even in plants. So for a guard cell, and you'll see it again. What would that be? One. And then you have, where is it? The stoma, the stoma. Six. I think it's in the is two. I think that's everything. So what I want you guys to do is we're going to look at this diagram. We're going to go over this diagram to the right. And then you guys are going to try this one on, I'm sorry, the one on my left. Right here, and you guys are going to on the right below. All right? So, if I look at this, I have a brain, right? Now, you see these two boxes. One says, too cold, too hot. Now, let's say if you stick your hand on an oven or on the stove and it burns. How, how, how does your body know if your hand burns? Nerves. Nerves. So, what is your what is? It's sending a message to your brain. Yes. So for the little box, put a sending signal going from the brain, right there. All right? And then you go either way, we'll go up. You have two hot. Right? You see skin, you see a bunch of liquid coming out. What's going on there? You're sweating. So what happens if you're too hot? Just what would you put in that box? What's the body's response? So think about it. The signal was sent. The signal was sent to the brain, 
The brain goes, oh no, I'm burning up. What does the brain combine to do? Sweat. Um, any other idea? Let's say if you're running. All right. What are you breathing through your nose or your mouth through your eyes? Your mouth. Your mouth. What? Think about it. More oxygen. Um, right. So increased breathing. And uh, you ever seen anybody that's like ran a lot? They're really red. Why would that be? You're on the right track. What do you want? All right. So what happens with that is your arteries, you guys over dilate. So your arteries expand, they dilate, and that releases more heat. That's why your face is red after you're running a lot. So you have the dilated arteries. Thank you. 